It's Mrs. Mafuji, and right now we are going to consider Avogadro's hypothesis. Avogadro is an Italian scientist who stated that equal volumes of an ideal gas at the same temperature and pressure contain the same number of particles. For example, these two flasks, one liter each. The one on the left contains one liter of hydrogen. The flask on the right contains one liter of nitrogen. According to Avogadro, if the pressure in both flasks is the same, and if the temperature in both flasks is the same, then both flasks contain the same number of gas particles. If two containers with the same volume are filled with the gas particles at the same temperature and pressure, then the two containers must contain the same number of gas particles. Consider the container on the left, made up of 10 gas particles. The container on the right, made up of 10 gas particles. Since the number of gas particles in both containers are the same, the temperature and pressure are the same, both volumes must be the same. Now if a container is filled with half the number of gas particles as a second container at the same temperature and pressure, then the first container must have half the volume as the second container. Both the samples are at the same temperature and pressure. However, since there are only half the number of gas particles on the left, but temperature and pressure are the same, that means that the volume occupied by the gas on the left must be half the volume of the container on the right. Standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature and pressure is defined as zero degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. Now one atmosphere is also equivalent to 760 torr, 760 millimeters of mercury, and 101.3 kilopascals. Standard temperature and pressure is abbreviated as STP. STP means standard temperature and pressure. At STP, one mole of a gas occupies 22.4 liters. But what does one mole mean? One mole is defined as 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. That's referred to as Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Whether atoms, ions, molecules, whatever, one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, which is also referred to as Avogadro's number. At STP, 22.4 liters is referred to as the molar volume, the volume occupied by one mole of a gas at STP. Therefore, according to Avogadro's hypothesis, 22.4 liters of any gas at STP is made up of 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Some elements exist as monoatomic gases at room temperature, such as the noble gases, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon, monoatomic, one-atom gases. Therefore, according to Avogadro's hypothesis, one mole of a noble gas 
which is a monoatomic gas, is made up of 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms. Now some elements exist as diatomic gases at room temperature, such as hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and chlorine. Diatomic, two atom gases. Therefore, according to Avogadro's hypothesis, one mole of a diatomic gas is made up of 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. A particle of gas can be an atom or a molecule. Therefore, if two containers with the same volume are filled with the gas particles at the same temperature and pressure, then the two containers must contain the same number of gas particles. The container on the left, made up of a diatomic gas. The container on the right, made up of a monoatomic gas. The number of gas particles in both containers are the same. 10 molecules on the left, 10 atoms on the right. The temperature and pressure are the same. Both volumes must be the same. Imagine three balloons, each filled with a different gas, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen gas. These gases have different particle sizes, with hydrogen being the smallest molecule and carbon dioxide being the largest molecule. But according to Avogadro's hypothesis, the balloon filled with one mole of hydrogen will occupy the same volume as a balloon filled with one mole of carbon dioxide if they are at the same temperature and pressure. It doesn't matter what the gas is. It doesn't matter the size of the individual gas particles. One mole of any gas at STP which is made up of 6.02 times 10 to the 23 gas particles will occupy 22.4 liters. Avogadro pictured the moving individual gas particles as occupying a small portion of the larger space occupied by the gas. This is one of the postulates of the kinetic molecular theory of gases that the individual gas particle is negligible compared to the total volume occupied by the gas. In other words, the volume of the gas is related to the spacing between particles and not to the individual particle size itself. So for a gas, the volume and the moles are directly related. As the number of moles of a gas increases, the volume it occupies increases. This graph represents the relationship between number of moles of gas and the volume occupied by the gas at constant temperature and pressure. It is a direct relationship. As the number of moles increases, the volume occupied by the gas increases. Let's look at this example. Both of these containers are one liter at STP. So how many carbon dioxide molecules should you draw in the container on the right? Count how many helium atoms there are. There are 10 helium atoms on the left. That means you should draw 10 carbon dioxide molecules on the right. If the volume is the same, if the temperature is the same, if the pressure is the same, that means that both containers contain the same number of gas particles. This is Avogadro's hypothesis.